Well, as expected, the first half proving the most difficult test yet for an England side, although they started well. They didn't make the most of two penalty corners that came their way, and there was one point of contention when Sean Curley had his stick knocked away, and only a penalty corner was given, and not the penalty at stroke that he clearly was expecting. The Soviet side, based on their bronze medal side of 1980, a lot of experience, very much a physical style, and always making sure that they get men behind the ball. The match being watched by uh, official attendance of 8,200, the biggest of these championships so far. Among the spectators, one of the vice chairmen of the Sports Council, Sebastian Coe, who is interested in hockey, grew during his days at Loughborough. Arafetian, Shawani staying with him, but he still gets the ball across, and Deputatov got right the way through the middle, and again Taylor to the rescue. Having much more work in this match than in the previous two. His goalkeeping is improving because of it. If it's possible for his goalkeeping to improve, that's a uh, feat surely by uh, Antarkov, but not given. But it's worrying for England's spectators. Penalty corner. with the shots. The shot blocked at the point of impact. Good chase out, in particular by Martin Grimley, who was a man who got to the ball. Barber gets it away. But Curley having to come right back to his 25-yard line. And the first five minutes of the second period, it's been almost continuous attack by the Soviet Union. Dodds, the umpire allowing it to go. Le Mans. Shawani trying to get in behind Arapetian, who was aware of his presence. 16-yard hit, it came off Shawani. Lofty ball, watched and well played by Potter. And really turning defence into attack. Good recovery by Bukatin. But England have to hit just outside the circle. Le Mans. Penalty corner. Because Curley was charged from behind by Bukatin. Soviets go to complain, but the umpire not impressed. So, fourth chance in the match from the penalty corner. Grimley. That's a good run! Oh, what very intelligent play by Martin Grimley. Also a teacher from Dulwich. When the ball went loose, the danger of defenders losing their geography, danger of attackers getting offside, so Grimley went on his own. And was a bit unlucky, finally playing the ball with his body, that's why the whistle went. And Tarkov, he was subtracted by Dodds. And a Pitian. Well taken, but it needed Barber to sort it out. But again, the ball given back to the Soviet side. This is Miasnikov, Goncharov, yes! Alexander Goncharov puts the Soviet Union in front. The ball went behind him, but he had the room to turn. Taylor a little unsighted, and in fact, it went in on the full. Substitution, bringing off Richard Le Mans and bringing on John Shaw. Hit it from behind, bounced in front of Taylor before 
finding the corner. And the second substitution being made. And Stephen Batchelor, who looked to hold the key to an England success in the first half, comes off looking rather disgruntled to be replaced by Danny Bora. So you can get off. Pashakov. Grimley. Keep working as the charm, and he's done well. Two to cross it to. Dodds. Away by Bukatin. Up comes Potter. And Shaw takes a swing at it. England do have to find a happy medium between control, composure in their attack, and pace when they need it. They seem to me to be providing pace when they don't want it. They're rushing at things. Really would open up this group, eh? Oh! Shawani it was, who just couldn't stop it. After the second round of matches, Netherlands and England both had four points. And Shawani unable to take the chance that would give us one in this game. The Soviet victory here would give them four points as well. Here's Sean Curley. Danny Bora taken off his stick for the long corner. Not furious about the challenge, but the umpire was right on top of the play. Curley and Bora got the return. Well, it was a little wild. Potter, Dodds, Shaw, who's elbowed a bit as he went through. Three minutes remaining, England's hit. Potter. Too long for Shawani. Defenders and goalkeeper had left it. Shawani came up on the blind side, but couldn't cover the ground in time. Potter. Stop. Nichipurenko. Well played. Fortnite. He survives the chopping action. Shawani back again from Hughes. Didn't quite play it as he meant to. Arapetian. As ever, has been a force to be reckoned with at both ends of the field. Long corner. Fifty seconds left. Sixteen yard hit needs to be good. Forty seconds. It's gonna run all the way. Potter chases once more. Two that have just been too long. Twenty-five left. Something of a air of resignation there. And I'm afraid they are going to be right. We're into the last ten seconds. Curly the last to play it. But he's had few opportunities in this match, which the Soviet Union have won by the only goal scored by Alexander Goncharov in the 13th minute of the second half but one defeat by no means ends our chances it just means that this group a will have to be scrapped for right to the bitter end